Ciao guys! Ciao guys! I'm Lady. I'm Antonio Paride. I'm Turkish. And I'm Sicilian. I came here to Milan three years ago to study. And then we met and now we are living together for two years. More than two years, two and a half. Well, so uh, since it's been a while we wanted to do this, uh, we want to share with you some moment highlights of uh, our uh, Italian life. And uh, since you all know we're in quarantine, yeah. we're gonna start with the most important moment of our daily life that is cooking. Yeah, so, so far it's the best moment in this period. Let's start! Enjoy! Today is the 12th day of our quarantine and we're always like every day we're coming up with a new recipe. Today we found a middle way since every day we're fighting over if we should cook vegetables or meat and pasta since every time Anthony is fighting over eating pasta and that's why we decided to make pasta with the crema of peas, onions and speck. E voilà. E voilà. And uh, uh, in the meantime since this is our everyday life. He cooks and I watch and I drink. Uh, so he's like, he's preparing my glass of wine. Thank you. <laughs> so, first thing, first thing, uh, we are gonna uh, prepare the pan, boiling pan with some water, uh, from with the water from the tap. And here, basically, we are gonna boil a part of the onion and a part of the peas. This is like half onion. I mean, yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is like around 300-400 grams of uh, peas and this is like a piece of speck that should be around uh, 150 grams yeah. more or less let's prepare the the onion the inside one I'm gonna use it to prepare the sofrito sofrito is not translatable in any languages because it's sofrito dear love uh, can you please cut some speck for me Zio, però questa parte non mi sembra buona. Aspetta. So when there is a... Dov'è? Non è buona, non è buona. La parte è peggiore. Also, I, I kind of want to like this, uh, throw the white part. The white part is fundamental. Why? Spin off. Because you're not going to use a lot of oil to do the soffritto. But you're going to use a little, 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 little oil and put the white part that is actually is going to melt like... And it's going to create the base for our soffritto with Ready? some of the peas and the speck. Let's put the onion in the... Leggermente fried. This is the sound of my life. You can, you can even smell it. Smell it. Almost. And the other moment to put this inside. Speck. We're gonna put the speck inside. And voila! Le cose sono fette, fai son jet. One, two, three. One now we have to wait until the speck is a little bit roasted and the white part is actually a little bit melted. Uh, when the speck is roasted, we're gonna put some peas here and now here it's boiling. So we are gonna proceed on the two step contemporary. <laughs> <laughs> so e voilà. And Okay. Voila. There's one. Don't waste any of the peas. No, especially in quarantine. And it's... about wasting, and then I'm gonna give you a little, little tip to don't waste even the water of the of the water. This is an economic recipe. Okay, guys. So this is the tool that we're gonna use to make the creme of the peas. This is a mixer, and if you don't have a mixer, just give up and change the menu. Okay guys, so this is a mixer, and if you don't have a mixer, this is a good period to buy one. So, we are gonna take it like this, even some, with some water it's okay, like if, if there is uh, some water it's also helpful. We are gonna actually keep the water, keep the water to make the pasta boil inside. inside. So, we don't waste. You don't waste water and you will have the taste of the peas and the, the onion onions. that is gonna be mixed with the pasta. Un goccino d'olio. We're gonna put like a little, little, little drop of oil inside. It's like one spoon, more or less. One spoon of oil. Three, two, one, go. Special. Black pepper. My brother's 
Pepperoncini. Oh dear. If you don't have my brother's pepperoncini, maybe you can have someone else's brother's. <laughs> La pasta è cotta ed è cotta al dente. Al dente in inglese si dice sempre al dente. Si dice al dente. Al dente. It's not 100% cooked. That's esatto. the explanation. Deve, deve essere leggermente croccante. Now we are gonna start, we are gonna do the impiattamento. We are gonna basically put the pasta on the plate. I will do like this. I will prepare a little cream on the plate. Okay, so since I was the one that who was already just watching, my cook, my chef has prepared my meal for me. And now he's doing the waiter and actually bring it. To the table. Et voilà. Oh, I feel so special. Wow! E bon appetito! Bon appetito! Should I eat or? <laughs> well, I really enjoyed our pasta and I hope you guys tried it as well. And please let us know if you liked it or not. Leave us a comment and don't forget to subscribe and uh, See you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Ciao. Ciao.